Hello, it's a dark episode for January the 15th, 2023. And hey, I had what seems like a productive day. Lots of items on my on my list of what I did today. And it's not just me inflating the list, I think. I actually did do... God, I made a hell of a lot of videos for me. Um, one of them may be publishable. Uh, my Grey Bastards review, though, that one's... Yeah. Yeah, that's probably sticking a finger in the socket, but I'll see how I feel about that. I'll let it lie and take a look at it tomorrow and see how I feel about it then, and then I'll see how I f see how I feel about it at other times, too. So, you know, there's all that. Yeah, yeah. Just that, you know, when you don't like something and you like don't like something for what seems like pretty fundamental reason, you kind of hesitate to like, oh, I want to bray about this because I'm not somebody who particularly wants to pick a fight about shit. Just my opinion. But then again, all, all I'm doing is spewing my opinions on the internet in hopefully a way that is articulate and... Uh, I don't know if entertaining is the word. It's just, you know, it's me. <laughs> genuine, at least. Articulate and genuine. I'll go for that, because it's not entertaining entertainment, particularly, I don't think. Um, so there's that. I... Yeah, yeah, it was a... It was a productive day. I, I, I crammed quite a bit in, especially considering it was a classic slow, slow day to start off with, sleeping in, and then slowly getting a, a shopping list together, and then cleaning out the uh, freezer below, which was a really good thing to get done, um, and then finally getting to the grocery store, going like, why is it so busy here? And it's because it's so busy here because you're shopping at like 2.30 in the fucking afternoon, and you can you, you usually try and do it kind of before noon. <laughs> so it was a really lazy day that way. I don't think I got down to doing all my little projects and stuff until late, late in the day. But then I seemed to crank through them fairly quickly there. So that was good. That was good. All right. And I'm, I'm considering um, following Steve Donahue in a read reading of a uh, a um, a nonfiction book on uh, the the Middle Ages the Middle Ages uh, around the Black the Black Death um, from like about thirteen hundred to fourteen fifty or thirteen hundred to fourteen fifty something in there um, popular history of it but it seems to be well written and just has a narrative thrust it's going to follow a particular guy's lifetime from about 1350 to 1397 something like that I, it kind of interests me because it is it gives it's maybe it would give me a little bit more of a basis for something like orlando furioso um reading a lot of books reading um a lot of uh, narrative poems on uh, chivalry and that and, and the idea of chivalry might be good to kind of try and get a base base reading on this kind of stuff so that that intrigues me and I mean it's all about this is the the bubonic plague is in the like the center of this I feel I'm assuming that's Theo yes that is Theo and that is sure rubbing up against me I think my back yeah so um, that would be a good thing. It's never a bad thing to actually have a little bit of knowledge when you um, start immersing yourself in works of literature that don't necessarily, they give you a feel, but you don't really get, you don't have the background at all. And so, yeah, popular history is definitely the way to go for that versus uh, an academic history, which would just bore the shit out of me and wouldn't have that, the narrative that that a popular history um, can provide, especially a really great popular historian. So yeah, yeah, I think I've talked myself into doing that. I've been reading the introduction tonight, and it was like, oh, this is, this seems really well written and really engaging, and I will have the name of that 
and the, na the name of the work and the name of the uh, historian soon for you. All right, I will leave it there. Yeah, because I'm probably going to rapidly run out of patience again for Rise and Fall of the Third Reich by Walter Schreier, which is well written as well, but is, I find, very draining to read. Um, and it is much more uh, kind of point by point by point by point by point. So I usually read that for a while and then give it a break. All right, I will leave things there. I've been Jay. More videos later.